welcome to my channel. I'm Tori Lynn. Let's blossom today. In today's video, I created this really dark, fun Christmas holiday look. I've got some reds and some greens and tried out a fun lip combo. I used, again, the Conspiracy Collection. This palette is super awesome it has really good pigment and so many fun colors so if you guys want to see what colors i use and how i got this look just keep watching let's jump right in all right so i'm decided to start this video off with my brows done and my eyes all prepped and ready because we're gonna be jumping into the conspiracy palette again today this is a super fun palette and i did a video a week or two ago i did a video with this palette when the day i got it so um, I'm decided to do another fun look with this. This look is gonna be a little more dark than the look I did the first time. But so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm gonna start with the shade down here called Root Beer. It's this nice medium toned brown. And I'm gonna work that shade into the crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with this purpley maroon shade here called Not A Fact. And I'm going to take a really fluffy brush and I'm gonna work that starting in the crease a little bit lower than that shade that I just put on and work it down onto the lid. Next, I'm gonna dip into this shade called Sleep Paralysis. It's kind of a shimmery pewter kind of shade. And I'm gonna take a nice dense packing brush and work that shade on the lid. With this shade, I'm gonna be careful not to drag it too high up into the crease. I wanna just bring it to the crease and let it sit there. I don't wanna drag it up into it. This shade, probably like most shimmer shades, I'm guessing is going to coat better with my finger. So now that I've got a good base layer of that shade, I'm just gonna take a little on my finger and really pack it on. With the maroon shade, I was actually surprised at how little fallout I got. I expected it to look a lot more like the amount of fallout that I'm getting from this silver shade called Sleep Paralysis. I want to add just a little more brightness to the center of that eye just to keep it from getting too dark so I'm gonna take that shade called diet cola and I'm gonna use my finger again and just put a little right in the center I like to do this in a lot of my looks just because I feel like it brightens things up You don't go heavy with it, it just adds a little extra lightness in the center there. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I used with that root beer shade. And I'm not gonna add any more product to it just yet, and I'm just gonna go and kind of soften that line 
actually not. We will add just a little bit of product to that brush, just a little bit. And this will blend everything together nicely. Now I'm gonna take my makeup wipe and wipe off any excess fallout. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish prepping my skin. So I'm gonna use the uh, ColourPop Pretty Fa Fresh, blah, blah, blah. ColourPop Pretty Fresh uh, Hydrating Primer. I decided to use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation again today. And I'm gonna use my beauty sponge and just buffer around the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Porcelain Beige. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye using my Cody Translucent Airspun Powder. So I'm gonna let that under eye bake for just a few minutes. I'm just gonna have a great time while I'm waiting. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face using the same setting powder. Bronzing up, I'm going to use my Hoopla bronzer from Benefit. I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my nose really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight with my Mary Luminizer from The Balm. And for blush, we're gonna be using this Note Blush in the shade Desert Rose. And I'm gonna add just a little blush on the tip of my nose for fun. <laughs> to get all nice and cozy looking. Okay, so let's go ahead, stop with the face. Let's jump back into the eyeballs into the eyes. I think I want to get creative with this and I want to jump into this green shimmery shade called Illuminati. And I'm going to work that under the lash line. Now I'm gonna dip into that shade called Diet Cola again 
And I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight. So I'm going to start it in the inner corner. And then I'm going to drag it over to connect with that green that we just smoked out the lower, smoked out the lower lash line with. I like that, that is fun. Now I'm gonna take my NYX Epic Ink Liner, and I'm not gonna wing it out, but I am gonna draw a nice thin liner on the top. Once you've got that nice thin line on top, I'm gonna take this Trustique Mini Eye Pencil in the shade black terrini sand and I'm going to tight line that lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and top off the eyes by using my Benefit Roller Lash and my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. If you do falsies, this would be the time to toss them on. I'm not a falsie girl, so I'm just gonna stick with my mascara. Looking at the lip colors in this palette, or this collection, I didn't see any that screamed to me. Normally I would do a kind of a nude lip with this, but the nudest you get is a bright pink. So I'm thinking maybe doing a lip combo of these two colors. The red one is called, it's called Are You Filming? And the kind of pewtery shade is called Shane. So I think I'm gonna start with the red and then top it off with the Shane. So let's just get into this. So this red is really pretty, but I think it's way too bright for this look. So now I'm gonna take Shane over the top of Are You Filming and see what kind of look we get with that. Ooh, that's pretty and it has a lot of pigment to it. So it's definitely an interesting lip color. I don't think if I saw this exact color in a bottle that it was something I would pick up and like, I need to have this color, but it's actually pretty. Um, it does suit the look a lot better than the bright red, but I'm all right with how it turned out. It's different than something I would ever probably choose to wear on my lips, but I like it. All right, so this is it. This is the look that I created today. I think this is a, would be a really fun kind of dark holiday look. If you guys like this look, give it a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button for more videos. Hit that button down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.